I don't think whether there is any short life, global impact ministry in place. So the time I've been with them, I've been getting some severe pain, sickness admitted, and then they will pray for me and, and anything that they tell me when I go for for any procedures, um, like checkups or final things, I'm always negative. And in my heart, one of my valves were leaking in my heart. And then I made that in report. I was, was about to undergo heart surgery, but when they prayed for, for me, when I went back, they said that there is nothing, they didn't see any, anything. I bless all of us because I, I am going, but I'm still part of Global Impact Ministry. My going doesn't mean that I, I'm not coming back. I, in fact, I will be here for our second anniversary because we have made a name which I've never had any other church or churches in America here, especially West Philly. What we have, we have done period of two years, no churches has ever done this. What you have raised, people that you have helped, especially me, for anything that happened, I, I get series of calls from members all around the church. We are one family in that church. We are not divided like other churches because you are you or you are Vi or you are this. No, we are all one. When you say one, 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 that's why our motto is there. Where the nation get to worship.
I'm from World of Life International. I also had a Shaw Foundation Geological Institute in Philadelphia. We met Pastor Silver, who is the father of the year, Father Samuel Polet, who has been my friend for a long time. And because of my closeness to that family, the Polet family, I got to know Pastor Deku. Besides that, he's been one of my students too. And I talked to him to the associate and pastor for God. And he became part of his ministry when he was initiated. Because he told me about it while he was in school. And I was glad that he was initiated. And I'm glad that I can be part of it. So for the end of the year, I can. And of course, the father of the year and his family. Also, my friend and family, and that's why I'm here today. Thank you. All right, uh, for this anniversary, I will not really have a phone to stay back, even though I didn't get information early because uh, my friend, Father Fuller, didn't believe I would be in town this weekend. So, but when I got it this morning, I decided to make my way to come, not just to stay up and wish that the father last week to come and shake the pastor's hand, Pastor Deco, and tell him thank you for the work, and to wish him personally a happy summer anniversary, praying for him that God will take him through the years ahead. Sanctuary minister here, and basically, what I do is make sure everything is okay. Come and take a look, and you know, see if anybody needs help, and make sure everything is right for service. And after service, make sure everything is you know, taken down. And this ministry has been a help to me, and if my life has been transformed by the ministry because through prayer, through my pastor, you know. Before I came in, into this place, I mean, my prayer life was a mess. I didn't even know what, what you call prayer, but then being part of this ministry helped me to be a prayerful, praising individual again. I mean, I love prayer because there is something about prayer. Prayer changes everything. You know, it, the book of Romans 11, 29, it says the gift and the calling of God has no repentance. Which means whatever gift that God has bestowed upon you, it doesn't matter how many years, it doesn't matter how far you go out of the sight of God. God always brings you back to that gift because once He gave you that gift, He never took it back. And I've been, I've been honored to work with this ministry, to work with our pastor, Pastor Silla. He's a good man. I mean, he's a, he's a, a, a true, true man of God. And he encouraged her to just pray, to constantly pray, no, no matter what it is, no matter the situation, we'll take that in prayer. And from now going forward, we are actually working in our own building, and it is my prayer that God will be able to open that door to give our own place, our own place of, of, of worship that we can bring in people. And I encourage each and everyone to just do whatever it takes to make prayer part of that daily life. And it's amazing what prayer can do for you. So come on board. We welcome you. Uh, the door is open. Come in and worship with us and see what, what God will do for you. Hey, Global Family. It's Victor. And listen, our second year anniversary is coming up in August, August of 2017. And I mean, last year we did some amazing things. And I can't wait what 
we had planned because it's just so much activity that's going to be taking place on that day and that week. I mean, we're going to have revival and I can't wait for that. I mean, it just feels so much thing that I've been planning for personally. And I mean, it's going to be great. I mean, I know we did so much good stuff last year, but this year is going to be amazing. I mean, it's going to blow your mind. So I am excited about it and I hope you are too. And come and let it be a success in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we believe that God will let that happen for us. Why do I say that? Because this church, Global Impact Ministry International, is a church of prayer. So we pray, and when we pray, God answers us. See here, that's something not too many churches can say. So if you are looking for a home church where you want to build a real relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, Global Impact Ministry is the place to be. We invite you to come and join us. We're having our anniversary, second year anniversary in August, the week of August 7 to the 13th. We ask you to join us. There will be reading activities that will, first of all, improve or add on to your spiritual life. 
And um, if you are looking for more of a family environment and the children ministry for your church, please, this is the place for the children. Our children ministry is fantastic. It is growing. We have a certified, certified teacher for our ministry. And we have a lot of things that this church is going to be looking forward to once we have our own building. Let's start to see that vision for this church. And I'm for sure, you know, people have vision, but if God is not in it, it won't work. So we're saying, I know his vision is one that was given to him by God. So we ask you to come and join us. They said us one of these days on Sunday, our services are from 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Be our guest and visit us. for praise and worship. I'm the leader of the praise and worship ministry. Um, I make sure that um, we prepare ourselves uh, in spirit and in truth and whenever we come to worship God, we must present ourselves to Him as a living sacrifice because um, the Bible says that we should worship Him in holiness and in the beauty of His presence. I was fellowshipping at the Lutheran Church and uh, as a priest and worshiper, that's where uh, my husband met me there, which is where we see my Deku, and then he got a call from the Lord and then we decided to birth our own ministry, which was um, two years ago. Uh, Global Impact Ministry has impacted my life in many ways and I was once a Christian, but being in Global Impact made me to grow more stronger in my faith, and most especially I am accountable for whatever I do. The fact that I have older women and mothers and single ladies out there in the ministry that are looking up to me to make the right decision, so I am accountable right now for it for the group and how to lead them in the right path and I take it upon myself to advise them and take care of their well so it's my husband. My husband is a very loving man. He, he's taking care of me and my son and uh, he makes sure that, that I have over my head, like spiritual advice, he's there to support me no matter what I want to do in life. And he also a caring person, he makes sure he, he supports the congregation, you know, in educational wise and um, spiritually, he's there to push us to the, to the level that he wants us to go. He also um, a father um, to many of the um, people in the church and he also he also was very strong and a smart man of God he preaches very well he teaches very well and um he's, he's, he's just a loving man if you get to know him you will understand how amazing he is my husband is also a generous man who loves God and he also a giver. When I say a giver, he, he so see and believe that because the Bible says when you give, it's like you're giving back to you in good measure. Because that should be together and run it over. So he lives by that principle that when you sow, whatsoever you sow, you shall reap. And this is what he has taught us and that's who he is. I want to wish Global Impact Ministry International a happy um, two-year anniversary. And uh, 
I believe in God and I trust in God because of where he took us from, like from where we came from as a ministry and now seeing us grow so much that I believe that God will continue to take uh, this ministry to a higher height that we, the congregation will improve and the members, our attendants will continue to grow stronger and stronger. I am trusting in God for our own building that we'll be able to worship God in it freely. That we'll be able to do other activities that we cannot do due to the fact that we have children. But I am trusting and believing in God that sooner I know the time is near that we're going to have our own building. And I thank you. God bless you. Really disciplined, and 
he and his wife, they are truly like family at Solid Church in the church. And we're gonna miss them. As we know, uh, our anniversary is around the corner. I would like to wish Global Impact Ministry happy second anniversary. Although I'm not gonna be at the anniversary, but I will be with you guys in prayer. And hopefully, we'll see some. Um, our second year anniversary is coming up in August and I hope to be here if I can. I really, really want to wish you guys a second and happy second anniversary and um, our prayers will be with you and we will be with you in spirit even though we're not in person and we wish and pray for greater things to happen. We pray that the third year anniversary will meet us in our own building and that we will be back here to celebrate that house opening. And I can't wait. And I'll keep praying and I'll keep praying and I'll keep praying. And I can't wait to hear the good news. Come on everybody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship him. Lift your hands and bless him in this place. Your simple song. to be the servant at Global Impact Ministries International where the nations gather to worship I serve as overseer and funder for this great ministry which happens to be a multi-culture church. Global Impact Ministry is a vision given by God to reach the nations for Christ in bringing in the hurting, the forgotten, the widow, the poor, the sick, the needy that they do experience the grace and loving kindness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is a divine mandate from God to reach the nations for Him and I am blessed to be a part of this great vision and the people that God has brought and surrounded me with in accomplishing this great work. I received Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior as the age of 12 years old and that happens in Broville and father moved on to Banga where I live with my mom and then went to Bible school and started up as an evangelist and assistant pastor the world came to Liberia uh, before then I have already served as an assistant pastor and a pastor in Better World of Rich Ministries International and that movement over from Liberia into Guinea in the refugee camp and where that started another church in JK left that church and moved on, on to the Arab coast in Abidjan specifically where I spent 17 and broken years laboring in the Lord's vineyard and it was a very tough time to start in a French speaking country where I could not speak French, I could not understand the language but as time went, because of my persistency and the rest of the people that was with me, we kept persevering. And that little church grew from 25 to 50, 50 to hundreds and hundreds of people. And God was able to bless us to buy a land, build a church, and even had a cashier. I served last in Africa as the pastor, senior pastor of a better country of transformation, a dynamic church, a multicultural church from people from all walks of life. And it was a blessing to me 
not knowing that God will bring me into the United States of America to continue his work. I visited here several times and went back to Africa, but in God's own appointed time, he brought me over to the U.S. And when I came to this country, I tried to help out one or two churches. They did not really understand what God was leading me to do. And finally, I spent some time with a church called Full Gospel Living World Ministry, where I served as a servant of God, then ejected with all of my heart and gave all that I could as though I was in my own local assembly. And when I heard the word from God to launch out into Global Impact Ministries, we started out praying in my apartment, one bedroom apartment we started in praying. And we were seven persons meeting on Mondays and meeting on Thursdays just for one hour of prayer. And those one hour of prayer produce miracles and some things that we expected God to have done so we launched out after four months of praying and fasting as a little cell group we launched out this ministry in 2016 as global impact ministry international so we are so blessed that on the 9th of August 2015 we have a launching ceremony and as we come to the second year celebration, so in 2015, August 9, most specifically, we launched out the church and initially we were just an amount of seven persons that met on Mondays and Thursdays at my apartment and we prayed. And after the launching ceremony, we realized God started to bring people from seven, we went up to 10, from 10, we went to 15, 15, 25, 30, and so forth. So currently we are a growing church and we are believing God for growth and we know exactly that God has given us a burden for souls and we have this desire going out weekly to evangelize and tell people about the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. From the time we started this great work there are several testimonies that people have uh, people that needed jobs, some needed to have gotten married, some needed open doors for school and God opened those doors for school. People needed healing in different from different sickness and different aspects, financially, spiritually, morally. And God has been faithful to heal his people. There are so many testimonies about healing and deliverance that are taking place in the lives of God's people and we just want to give God all of the glory because he said I am the Lord that he did be and we thank him for his faithfulness to his word because lives have been transformed people have gotten more committed and dedicated to their Lord and Savior and we want to bless God for how lives have been transformed and people's destinies have been shaped it is indeed all the goodness and the glory belongs to God we as a mission church, we have a foundation that has to do with our, the Word of God and foremost our five pillars that has to do with integrity, that has to do with excellence. We believe in integrity, we believe in excellence, we believe that God has called us to lead His people in transparency. We, we, we have a burden for economic empowerment, education. And, 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 and we have this burden that God has given us to be able to go out there to evangelize, to pray, and for missions. So by the grace of God, we are trusting and believing God that each and every one that become a part of Global Impact Ministries International, we realize that this is a mandate, divine mandate that God has given us, that we must be men and women of integrity, we must be men and women of excellence, because the God that we serve is an excellent God, is a God of integrity. We must be able to empower our brothers and sisters that we meet, that when they come in contact with us, something must be transformed in their lives. And we believe God by His grace, that the grace of God is sufficient for us. So there are people that was not committed to God, people that was not dedicated to reading the Bible, fasting and praying and soul winning and, and, and loving God and talking about God. We have seen a short space of time 
people have grown to spiritual maturity and it's all by the grace of God. I owe it all to God. And we look forward to seeing the lives of many more people being transformed because Global Impact Ministry is in Mika Church. And we believe that God is taking us from one glory to another glory. I cannot wait to see the things that God will do in the year 2018 and beyond. I am so excited to be a part of this vision. Once again, as we come to a celebration of our second year anniversary, I want to first of all tell the Almighty God thank you for His grace that He has afforded me to be able to carry on this great tax. Because I realize that ministry in Africa and that of the United States of America is different. They are two different territories, and uh, doing ministry in America is different than that of Africa. And I want to be grateful to God for the men and women that he has placed at Rhyme and Administrator, Assistant Administrator, Men's President, a uh, uh, board of uh, our trustees and, 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 and different leaders, heads of department, all your children ministry, uh, drama team, and, and the men, the women. I'm, I'm so grateful for the all your spray team, people that are fasting and praying and, and, and trusting God for this work to continue to go forward. I am so grateful for these leaders and members that God have brought to, to, to give me his support for this work. Those that have put in their unlimited resources, unlimited time and commitment. I am so grateful. Not forgetting my dear brother and friend. He might not know how much I appreciate him. His wife that happens to be Brother Collins and his wife, they are always coming to help us with our, our our projector and trying to make sure that our media ministry is keeping up to date. I, I, I want to salute all of those great men and women in our media team. God richly bless you. Your help makes my preaching much easier. I am so grateful to God once again for how we started a very humble beginning and as long as the Lord tarry, we will continue to be humble in His vineyard. I want to thank God for all of these great men and women, dedicated men and women that the Lord has placed around me. People have made sacrifices uh, to contribute towards our building project. And that is one of the things that we have on our mind, to own our own building. So as we started off in 2015, 20. 16 and 2017 we continue on this unique project in buying a house where we can worship our God free in liberty in peace and in joy. I want to say to the men and women that have contributed towards this great type, God richly bless you and multiply unto you that you least expect. But we want to say out there to our partners though that want to connect themselves with global impact ministry that this is a felt as saw for you to sow in uh, you whatever you bring in it will be highly appreciated and we want to say 2018 before we end the year 2018 we want to have our own property so we we want to bless God for the men and women that are sowing to this vision, paying their tithes and bringing in the offering and bringing the seed feed and, 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 and bringing in their resources, their time. We cannot stop thanking God for you because you are a miracle and a gift from God to us. We are so grateful for you. And I know that the seeds that you have sown you will be a hundred for everything concerning your life the life of your children your business will not go down because jesus is raising so you will keep up god bless you i am grateful for two years but we're not stopping here we want to progress we believe that god is taking us somewhere and we want to follow his direction so as we celebrate in this two years of existence we want to say happy happy anniversary to all the members and friends of global impact ministry god richly bless you shalom
Come on, everybody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship him. Lift your hands and bless him in this place. A simple song. Come on, y'all got it. Come on, say, my hallelujah. 